Welcome back. It's time for today's comedian. He comes from Providence, Rhode Island. Please welcome Ace Aceto. Thanks. Thanks. Hey, thanks a lot. It's really good to be here. You guys are putting me in a great mood. I actually got some pretty bad news today. I just found out, but growing up, I'm Italian. My last name spelled A-C-E-T-O, pronounced Aceto or Ajid. Growing up, my Nana told me it was a very honorable name, dated all the way back to ancient Rome. I Googled it today, you know what it means? Vinegar. Yeah, very honorable. It means my ancestors were sucky winemakers. We made a little bit of money in the salad dressing business, but not as much as Ernest and Giulio Gallo in the next village. In fact, if you notice, I'm drinking water up here. I just joined the Italian chapter of Alcoholics Anonymous. You know AA? Well, it's the Italian chapter, so it's called A-O! All right, some of you got to, where the rest of you from Maine? Did I explain this shit? No. Just let me know. So, so yeah, growing up Catholic, I went to Catholic school. Or well, being Italian, you kind of have to be Catholic. It's a prerequisite. Went to Catholic school. The thing about Catholic school was if you went to public school, you went to CCD. It was once a week. Catholic school, they beat us into submission with religion class every single day. We learned about these things like the, the parables, all the stories about Jesus. I, Jesus, you see these parables? He fed, his first miracle, fed 5,000 people with two fish and five loaves of bread. You remember this story? 5,000 people. If you look at the Bible, that wasn't even counting the women and the children. But guys, you know women, you take them out on that first date, poor guy's probably sitting there up on the hill, listening to Jesus' lecture, looks over, he's like, hey honey, have you touched any food? You want some bread, fish? There's like 12 baskets left over back there. <laughs> um, no thank you. Maybe I'll just have a salad. <laughs> yeah, good honey, here's some grass, chew on this. <laughs> and what else did he do? He turned water into wine. Where was he when he did it? At a wedding. I'm sitting in class thinking, is this a guy you wanted a friggin' party or what? <laughs> Think about it, they're at a wedding, they're having a great time, they're halfway through, they run out of something. There's that one drunk guy at every wedding has the nerve to ask anything. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> shh, shh, shut up, I already does this stuff all the time. <laughs> no, listen, it's worth a shot. <laughs> Hey, Jesus! <laughs> come here, come here, shh, shh, shh. Listen, focus. <laughs> come on, you. No, no, listen. I've been watching you out there on the dance floor. You gotta show me that dance. I keep practicing it and I can't get it. How's it go? <laughs> What's that called, the Magdalena? Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 I love you, man. No, no, I mean it, I mean it. I know I say it at every wedding, but I mean it this time. You are my best friend in the whole world, you know that? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Come here, buddy. <laughs> no, no, don't no, go away. Come here. Shh. Shh. We're running a little bit low on peppermint schnapps in the back. I got a Tic Tac and a bottle of water. Can you help me out? <laughs> Thanks. I know I'm going to hell for that one. <laughs> I, I have. I've always been in trouble with the church. Are you kidding? Kindergarten, eighth grade, I went to one school. Actually, first of all, that's one of the first jokes I ever wrote. I felt really guilty about it because that's what we do when we're Catholic, we feel guilty. And then I went to confession to make it all better until I did the joke again tonight. <laughs> Confession's nothing more than a Catholic version of a do-over. You know that, right? You know you're going to do the same stuff again. But I went to confession. I hadn't been to confession in so long. I went in the wrong part of the confessional booth. Yeah, I went with the presets. Oh. I walk in, I'm like, oh wow, crap, we used to have to kneel as a seat now, cool. <laughs> I figured new pope, new rules, maybe he put seats in. <laughs> so I'm sitting there for like five minutes, I'm waiting for the priest to come in. Priest doesn't come in. Lady comes into the booth next to me, thinks I'm the priest. She hadn't been to confession in a wicked long time. So she starts blurting out all this stuff she's done. She told me she committed adultery. I didn't know what to do. I open that little door, I'm like, psh. Oh, hey, baby. <laughs> Does that make you horny, baby? <laughs> Randy. 
so the excommunication hearing is next week if you guys are around. <laughs> hey, thanks, guys. My name's Ace Aceto. Thank you, Ace. We'll be right back with him right after this.